Hi, this is Nakshatra. Now, I am going to make a yummy, yummy pizza. So, in the first step of our pizza, the ingredients we need are so a cup of milk means uh, if you are taking a small pizza or medium pizza or a large pizza you can take the quantity so i'm making one pizza a large pizza so a cup of milk and yeast that's it for the first step so let's first do take this milk in our bowl so yes and second step you need to take a spoon of yeast so this is enough i think it's more so let's keep it aside so now you need to mix it well so leave it for 10 minutes like that so now our yeast is melted in the milk after 10 minutes. So if you see there is no yeast at all, it is melted. Now let's pour a cup of maida. You can take more out if you want. How many pizzas you can uh, do? I'm doing one pizza. So let's pour this out. That's it. Now let's it. Yes. Now we need to add very little bit of salt. So this much is enough. So we need to mix it as a chapati ball with the water. So let's mix it slowly. Add slowly. If we add uh, more water, means it will come as a paste. <laughs> Then we can't eat a paste pizza. So, now let's use our hands. Ah. Okay, it's over now. Let's keep it aside. Like you can be, uh, you should cover it with a wet cloth for half an hour, 15 minutes or one hour. If you want more sponginess and more long. So let's keep it aside. In this time, let's make the pizza sauce. So for making our pizza sauce. Sure. So now let's make our pizza sauce for doing this pizza sauce just we need only two ingredients some chopped tomatoes and chopped onions so let's make it i'm keeping on a high burner because uh, it will be more faster first let's pour some water and then let's pour this. You can chop your tomatoes however you want. Keep it at a high flame and pour some water. That's it. Now let's do. Spoon and mix it well. So now it is boiled and done. Now we need to cut the fire off and now we need to dry it and do mixing. So let's keep it in a cool place under the fan or like in the balcony, like that. So I'm keeping my so. It cooled down. Now I am converting into a mixy jar. So we need to paste it. So my paste is completed. Now we need to uh, keep it aside and make another process to complete this paste. So take some oil. That's it. 
and this oil you need to apply so now we need to pour some chili sauce this much chili sauce um, chili powder that's it now mix it keep it in a high flame only low flame is enough not high flame keep it for some time so now we need to add some salt this much is enough okay now let's mix it and now let's add the oregano powder which is nothing but the warm powder we will add the warm powder for our taste enough okay. now mix it so it will the smell will come as a spicy smell now let's add the paste first keep it in keep it very low so mix it mix it mix it now now our pizza paste is done pizza sauce is done Mm, nice smell. Yep. Let's off the fire. So our paste is done. So see how much spongy is this. Okay. Now let's take it outside and roll it as some chapati, but it should be some a uh, big one. Now let's roll it. Okay. Let's roll with the chapati roller. So uh, we need to make it a perfect round shape. You need to reverse it while you're doing. So I'm making a large pizza, so it should be some thick. That's why it should be like this. Oh. So done. Uh, if I go till stout, the shape will be clumsy. So I'm, I bought my pan near it. Okay, my applying my it is completed. Now let's add the vegetables. Mm. I love onion capsicum very much, so I added much onion, tomatoes, so done. Now let's add the paneer, you can add the, like you can add chicken also. So my paneer decoration is also done. Now let's add the cheese. We need to add cheese more. Wow. Don't add it in the corners because it will come out. So now let's add the chili pepper. Chili powder or pepper. <laughs> So let's add more. Sparkling is done. So now let's add the black pepper. So
I completed all the spices on my pizza. Now it is the time to bake it in the oven. So, okay, now I am keeping my pizza in the oven. And you need to set the pizza timing. Can you see this frozen pizza? So now you need to click this button. So it will come like this. Now you need to start it. Yes. So I am very excited to eat the yummy pizza. So it is getting ready on the 19th second. So my pizza is done. Let's serve it. Mmm, looks very delicious. Yes. <laughs> so I am serving it to my plate. <laughs> serving into my plates. I kept my plate and I'm ready to eat. But we need to apply some sauce. This is very, very nice. If you like this recipe, don't forget to try it at your home. Thank you for watching my video. Bye. Okay, that's like this. I kept it on my pan. Now, take a fork and make holes round. Fast, like or slow. Now, we need to make uh, only once at one place. I will make the holes means the yeast is there. Uh, when it is cooking, it comes up like uh, it was baking. Now let's reverse it. Now let's keep it a while like that. So if it uh, if we heat it lightly means it is enough. So it is heated up. Let's. Was it? Yes. Now it's done. That's one. Okay, it is done. Now let's uh, top the top. Let's topping the pizza. Let's go. So first, let's apply some what we have prepared the pizza paste on the pizza. This looks very delicious. Pizza paste is done. Now let's add mayonnaise. Wow, you can take any. 